There's no reason why, you know, everybody's backyard brush pile shouldn't be, you know, in, in they sh people should be encouraged to adopt a method similar like this to, to burn their uh, yard waste and, and, you know, the, uh, this brush and the twigs and everything else they burn up because, you know, that just puts that carbon back in the atmosphere and if we can, you know, keep it in a solid form, I mean, if you imagine that, you know, this, this would have been smoke, atomized into smoke particles and sent into the atmosphere floating around. Now it's going to stay in a solid form, you know, in the ground forever. And, uh, you know, that's, that's that weight, whatever this weighs, you know, five ounces, six ounces, that's six ounces of carbon that's going to stay in the ground, right? And otherwise, if you just burn it in a big pile, it all goes into the atmosphere. Mm -hmm. Right, I mean that's uh, yeah, that's what it is. This this stuff is going to stay behind. That's all carbon out of the atmosphere that's going to be left in the ground. The alchemists were fascinated with smoke in their in their search for uh, gold, and they they when they were burning um, wood, they uh, had a hard time figuring out where, where the mass of the wood went and it went into the atmosphere in the form of smoke you know and I, and I, I you know the, so people look, have looked at this you know for a very long time what happens with with that that solid form of the of the wood or any combustible material where does it go you know so here here we have it you know and I you know it the the charcoal does all kinds of things for the soil. I mean, retains moisture. It, mm -hmm. you know, aerates the soil. I mean, when when left in the soil, it it, it really, you know, amends it to a uh, make it a much better soil. And of course, you know, we're going to see here in a few months. We're taking we have a very poor quality, sandy, clay soil here. Mm -hmm. We're going to see what this, uh, you know, added charcoal is going to do.